Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you the single displacement reaction between aluminum and copper chloride. Check this out. All I'm using in this investigation is aluminum foil, a beaker, a graduated cylinder with distilled water, copper chloride, you can see what it looks like, and a concentrated solution of copper chloride that I made with distilled water. Begin by tearing off a piece of your aluminum foil and wadding it up so that you can fit it down the neck of your graduated cylinder. Next, cut a smaller square of aluminum foil to put over your beaker. Place the aluminum foil over the beaker so there's a small indentation where it can hold just a little bit of your solution of copper chloride. Now you're ready to pour a little bit of your concentrated solution of copper chloride over the aluminum foil to observe the reaction. Here we go. Now at first, nothing is gonna happen because there's an oxide layer covering the aluminum foil. But pretty quickly, you'll start to see bubbles and that's when it starts to break through that oxide layer. And you'll see that there's copper that appears on the aluminum foil. So here you can clearly see copper on the aluminum foil. And that's because aluminum is so much higher on the activity series that in this single displacement reaction, copper chloride trades places with the aluminum. And you get down here in the bottom, you get instead of copper chloride, you get aluminum chloride and it changes color a little bit. And up here, you can actually see the copper. That's the brown residue that you actually see on the aluminum there. The next way you can demonstrate the same reaction is by taking your longer piece of aluminum foil and simply lowering it into your graduated cylinder of copper chloride. And I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller so it fits. I'm gonna put like halfway in so you can see the difference between both halves. You can see it's starting to bubble. This is an exothermic reaction. You can definitely feel quite a bit of heat coming off of it. And there's the copper. You can see those brown, those brown pieces of copper there falling down in the solution. Isn't that amazing? Look at that reaction and your copper chloride is turning into aluminum chloride because aluminum is higher on the activity series than copper. Just look at all that. Up here you can really see the difference. Here's the aluminum that we started with. And look how much it's changed in just a few seconds. Unbelievable. Okay, so what's going on in this amazing reaction is you start out with your aluminum foil, that's your AL, and you add it to an aqueous solution of copper chloride, that's your CuCl2. Those are your reactants, and when they come together, since aluminum is higher on the activity series than copper, it trades places with the copper chloride, and it becomes aluminum chloride and elemental copper. That's the reddish distribution that you see on the aluminum foil. And this is also an oxidation reduction reaction in that aluminum is being oxidized it's losing electrons and the copper that's the reductant the copper is gaining those electrons in this reaction well i hope you enjoyed today's edition of ramsey land and i'll see you next time